so it is black pride weekend in atlanta i've never been in my fucking life and today is thursday so me and my friend is gonna go to my sister's room msr and i'm so excited guys black pride weekend and the bitch is single mm. where is the studs at okay <laughs> i'm just looking for some eye candy okay anyways i'm so excited i'll take you guys with me let me show y'all the real let me show y'all the real this is me getting ready to go out okay messy as fuck we got the smoke. We got the, <laughs> the makeup. <laughs> so anyways, this is what I'm wearing to go out, okay? I told you I'm going to MSR. Never been before. So my friend said to wear black. I was like, okay, then that means I can wear a cute little dress. I'm a little classy, okay? There ain't nothing wrong with being a little hoochie and slutty because I'm okay with that. But I was like, I'm going to be like low key, you know? So this is what I'm wearing, it's a little see-through, you can see my thong, and I just love, I love the neckline of this dress. I got this from Shein, if you look up white cowl, C-O-W-L dress, you'll see it. But I'm like, I wear this in some sandals, coming looking good, smelling good, looking like a goddess, so. That is what I'm wearing, and I'm excited. Are you gonna? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna maybe grab some peanut crackers. Okay. These are my days to grab. You too. Hello.
right guys so this video that i had just posted was when i went to msr in atlanta um it's called my sister's room and it is a lesbian bar and so i was there for black pride weekend my review <laughs> um i think the party was nice in terms of the music if you were upstairs the upstairs was like the dancing room downstairs i think it turned into like the ratchet twerk which is cool both are great but um you know i really enjoyed the vibes i felt like the music was good i felt like me and my friend were dancing and just having a good time um in terms of the eye candy <laughs> that i mentioned there was a little bit of eye candy maybe like three in total of everybody in the whole room in terms of my type my type my type I've realized that I do not care for masculine or centered women that give more of the sporty look, that give more like Jordans and Nikes. That reminds me of like high school. And no offense to anybody, if that's your style, that's your style. I think I prefer a masculine or centered woman that has a different sense of style. And um, even to yeah, last night when I went out, I just realized that more and more. I'm like, that's not my type of woman. Like, I have a like they just have a different type of dress code, and um, that's been interesting for me to find out about myself because I'm just like, oh wow, like there's a lot of these women that dress like this. And I'm like, that is not my type whatsoever. Um, but I had a great time. I, it was fun. We danced. I drank champagne that had some pineapple in it, and I added some of my sour gummies that you guys saw. I do not care for hard liquor. Um, if I drink hard liquor, I've realized that mezcal is okay. Maybe tequila inside of a liquor or rum inside of a liquor. I hate gin. But I am not like a strong weight when it comes to liquor, nor do I strive to be. It's really just a glass of champagne. So the other night I had a glass and a half of champagne. And bitch, when I woke up the next day, mm, I was dragging. I was tired. I had to eat, um, I had to drink water. I feel like I was in a whole nother reality. I feel like that alcohol did not leave my body. <laughs> but it was a good time. I enjoyed myself. Um, and this is the first time I've ever been out to Atlanta Black Pride and been single. I have never been to Black Pride ever. Even when I was with my girlfriend and we were together for almost five years, I just never went. And um, I decided to go this year with my friend because I just wanted to be outside. You know, when you're single, you more than likely want to be outside because, you know, you are going through the breakup, you're healing through the breakup, and you don't necessarily want to think about the breakup 24-7. And so there's times where it comes up and I'm like processing feelings and emotions because it's still very fresh. And then there's like, when I go out, it's like, oh, the world is bigger than just a breakup. And I love that. And I think that's why going out through a breakup could be important for some people. You know, some people talk about, oh, if you go out and you drink too much and you do too much, you're like, you're not healing, right? And I think you can heal in that way too, but you have to have a balance. And so I have that balance. Like I'm actively processing my emotions. I'm thinking about them. I'm feeling them. I'm releasing them. I'm writing about them. I'm really tapping into how I personally feel about how this ended and how it ended and why I'm upset about how it ended. Um, and not upset that it ended, but how it ended. So um, me going out makes me feel like the world is bigger than my breakup, right? Like sometimes, like Beyonce has said this before, she loves, I don't know if she was talking about the sky or something, but she likes to feel small. And I got that. And I think I got that because here and this earth be everybody makes beyonce so big and i'm not saying that to discredit her beyonce is huge beyonce has done a lot beyonce is a very talented um performer singer artist etc but when you're probably living your life being big all the time sometimes since maybe when she was what 20 sometimes you just want to be small and sometimes you don't want to be known and you just want to have a regular life sometimes and i feel like when I go out and I meet new people or I'm talking to other people or if I'm even being affirmed by other people, it makes my breakup seem so small rather than it being like a really, really huge thing. And I really like that because I feel like through the ending of my relationship, I don't know, maybe you guys have experienced this, like you end a relationship and so 
you and your partner is not on good terms. And so the words that are said from each other or from your partner's mouth may not necessarily be the most uplifting. And even though me, I have all the self-love and confidence in the world, yes, and I love myself very deeply, but it is still a journey. So it's just like when you I'm outside and people are affirming me, like people are like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. You're so gorgeous. Like, damn, look at you. Or like, I love your outfit or like, oh, you're so beautiful. Like, I just love your energy. Like people are affirming that. Like I'm out and about and people are telling me that. And I know I'm a bad bitch. Like I know, you know what I'm trying to say? Like I know, but it feels good when you're processing like these really deep feelings and you're processing some of the words that your lover has said to you that did it were not really nice because it's like your lover and like you be with that person all the time and some some of that stuff is like in your mind sometimes or your psyche and so when other people are like affirming me and reaching out and stuff like that I'm just like oh wow like God is good like that's how I felt recently I felt like God is good because it's just like I've had random people reach out to me that didn't even know I was going through a breakup that have just told me stuff to affirm me to say thank you for doing this thank you for doing that you're so amazing and they don't even know i was going through a breakup and i just feel like the universe and spirit is like i know like they know that this had to end but i feel like they know some of like how i feel like they know like the hard feelings that come with the breakup and so then they're just like okay like let me show her let me show her like, let's give her examples of how amazing she really is. Let's continue to affirm her as she's going through this transition that needed to happen. And so I'm out and about and people are telling me how beautiful I am and how amazing I am. And it's all the things I'm getting. Random people reach out to me. Random women reach out to me. And it's good. I am receptive to it all. <laughs> I'm receptive to it all during this time. And um, that has been really reaffirming for me because breakups are hard and you know, they feel shitty. And there's like this whole mourning process, which I'm still moving through, which is why I know I'm not like looking to date. At one point throughout the breakup, I had made a Hinge account and made a Bumble account. Girl, and again, it was just eye candy. I wasn't really trying to be on nobody's date. Uh, then eventually I deleted it because I was just like, I don't want to meet nobody. Like, I don't, I'm not saying that I won't, and if I do when it happens, naturally, great. I'm saying, like, I'm not actively putting myself on Bumble and Hinge because I don't want to date nobody. I don't want nobody's number. There was a time where this girl was um, saying hi to me and talking to me at MSR. And I was talking to her, too. And then my friend was like, oh, did you get her number? And I said, oh, no, I'm good. Oh, no, I'm good. And I said, oh, no, I'm good because, bitch, I'm not trying to get nobody's number. And I don't mean bitch in an offensive way, just like bitch in general. I'm not trying to get nobody's number. Like... You know what I'm trying to say? Like, to, to do what? To talk about what? To interact with what? Like, I guess for me, if I know I'm not into you, I'm not entertaining nothing. Like, nothing at all. And it's just like, to have somebody's number and do that texting back and forth shit, that shit don't work for me. Like, that makes... I don't know. I just feel like it's going to longer my process of what I'm doing. And I'm really just trying to, like, heal from my breakup. Like, I want to move through this mourning process, you know? And I know I will. And so it's just, like, I don't really want added distractions to that as much as a distraction could be amazing. Like, going out is cool. It's a great distraction. And I love it. Um, but it's also healing for me at the same time, which is why I was telling y'all that you could do both. So make sure to do both, which is why today I have posted, like, a video of me um, doing an affirmation saying that I love myself more and I continue to show up for myself because even though I was about to go to, and y'all gonna see the next video next vlog even though I was about to go to Magic City to throw some cash on some girls I have felt some emotions from my breakup and I wanted to address them and I did and so I was just showing y'all that you could be going through something and you're addressing it and you're feeling it and you're still living your life. Like, I still wanted to go out, but I knew I needed to address this. I didn't want to go out and not address it. You know what I'm trying to say? I didn't want to ignore it. So anyways, I just wanted to add this to the end of the vlog to kind of give some perspective of me. Like, you see me out, you see me about, you see me having fun, but I'm also like processing this really big thing that just happened, this really big transition. And so um, I just wanted to add in some more words because I know in the video, you just kind of like saw me talk every once in a while and what I was doing, but I wanted to give my thoughts. So I hope this helps and whatever. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Subscribe to my YouTube, Olenike Osibawale. I love you guys. XOXO Selfish Babe. Download my free self-love app, Selfish Babe. Um, purchase my Goddess Detox Pros. If you're detoxing your ex, I got to do a detox myself. 
And um, yeah, you can order at evolvingbutterfly.org. And I love you guys. Peace.